I'm pleased you're pleased. I've never known you not complain when you've really been at it and tonight one can say without fear of contradiction you were at it. Rest now. You've the interval and all Gloucester's blinding before no they cannot touch me for coining. Try to get some sleep. You've been through it or put through it whichever you prefer and you need quiet as the deaf mute said to the piano tuner mighty your ladyship thought you were tonight that was the word she used mighty of course i cannot comment on the storm scene but i did hear a reason not the need tremble making i have never seen you so full of the real thing if you don't mind my saying so sir and wasn't geoffrey Agile as fool, for a man of his age, kept well down stage, never once got any light, much less obtrusive than Mr Davenport Scott, in every way. And here's something funny, while we were beating ourselves delirious during the storm scene, and I was having to jump between thunder sheet and timpani like a juggler with rubber balls and Indian clubs, Mr Oxenby came to our aid uninvited, Cracked and clapped he did with abandon. Not a word said, just gave assistance when assistance was needed. Afterwards I thanked him. Get staffed, he said, which wasn't nice, and added scornfully, I don't know why I helped. I said it's because we're a band of brothers and you're one of us in spite of yourself. I did, that's what I said, quite unabashed. He hobbled off, head down, and if he was given to muttering he'd have muttered, darkly, more tea? Are you asleep, sir?